Uh, the last time I was here, I posed the question if anybody on the team uh, could prove that there was a minor uh, as the ones that you have here in your site. Um, if you can prove that there's a liner that never leaked. And I didn't really get a definitive answer on that. So I would answer that by saying that you have, I'm going to be a little technical here, but when you have a permeability of 10 to the minus 7, um, you can say yes, water travels through it at 10 to the minus 7 centimeters per second. So that's what, a millionth of a centimeter per second. Um, but what I will tell you is that that is the reason why there's requirements to not have more than a foot of head on the liner for a long period of time. That's why we monitor that water level in the leak detection sample. We always take it off of there. So that you, that's how you manage that, is that you don't hold water on a liner so that there's not the amount of water to actually leak through it. Right, but I still want to know if you can give me an example of a liner that has never leaked oh. in another mining operation. I'm sorry, I've never done, okay. I've never looked into that research okay. to answer that's that question. That's kind of the same answer. Nobody can answer this question. Why? Why can't anybody answer that question? It's just that something I've looked into. I'm John, sorry. <laughs> John. I think there's plenty of examples of liners that don't leak, but the primary proof of a liner that it's not leaking is a difference in water quality between. <clears throat> Can we go back to that picture? <clears throat> if you have a dramatic difference between the water quality above the liner and what's below the liner, that's an indicator. You probably don't have any. Just, I don't out of curiosity, are liners built for the life of, of, that they're expected to be used for? So if you're... Well, okay. well this type of liner is typically built for 100 years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, why can't you give me an example of one that has never failed? That's all I'm asking. I, I can probably research that. Yeah. yeah, so that will be our challenge for well, next time. Yeah, you told me that six yeah. months ago. Yeah. You told me that six months ago. You've had six months to find out that answer. This has to do, I mean, this is a personal thing, but whether the liner leaks or not, what is going to potentially happen is that that amount of uranium and that concentration is going to get into the groundwater, presumably. So you should be able to model what concentration of uranium would be when it reached the surface somewhere. Have you done that? Well, we haven't, not with uranium, we haven't done that. Okay. We don't have uranium. It was never expected to come out of the water treatment plant, and that's what we've proven, that it's non-detect. But we did do that with mercury. Okay. We did that with copper. We did that with other parameters. Um, uranium wasn't one that was modeled that. But it's there. Could you monitor it? Or model it? It's, but it, I mean, I mean, we're not discharging any of the uranium. It's all contained in that sump. And then what happens from that sump is it's pumped to the contact water basins, and then it's treated through the water treatment plant. Okay, so you remove the uranium? In the water treatment plant. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to call for your vote now. So that we can